For what it's worth, darling, good luck. And don't work too hard, all right? We have a nice view of the bridges from this window. It's a chair. They really knew how to design tacky furniture back in the late 22nd century. More fans. Proper air conditioning was apparently never a viable alternative for the contractor. Emma picked this table up at a flea market for $10 last month. That's $9 more than it's worth. It's a matchbook. Shelves. Shelves. That's a plasma cushion, as in the once you sit down you don't want to get up, official plasma cushion. It should really be once you sit down there's no way you can get up, not without a helping hand anyway. The omnipresent screen. I don't pretend to know how it works, but all the data apparently passes through tiny little black holes in the fabric of our dimension. You know, that really freaks me out when I think about it. I'm sorry, but big sweaty jocks do not turn me on. I'll take a nerd any day. Annual summer blowout at the Fringe Cafe, Friday, August 4th, 8 p.m. Free food, live performances by Royn Dale, Harlequin Masquerade, The Go-Getters. Tickets available at the bar, $10 only, spread the word. I can't tell what that note's saying as long as it's up there. Fiona's handwriting is not particularly legible. Pizza and movie night, Monday, July 31st, BYOS. BYO what? Soap? Look, it's Monkey Boy! Be considerate. Keep the volume down after 11 p.m. Fiona. Common Room Duty Roster, July 27th, April and Emma. Oh joy, manual labor, my favorite! San Francisco. I'd love to go there someday. Someday soon, hopefully. It's a matchbook from the Fringe Cafe. It's a pushpin. Found. A gold ring under the common room sofa. If it's yours, let me know. But no false claims, please. Fiona. I did lose a gold ring a few weeks ago. I hope this is the one. I'll have to ask Fiona about it. I saw this note on the corkboard. I think the ring might belong to me. I'm sorry I have to ask, but could you describe the ring? Sure thing. It says Sweet Sixteen. My dad gave it to me. I think it was the only birthday of mine he remembered, or at least acknowledged. Yes, that's the one. I found it under the sofa when I was vacuuming. Here you are, darling. Thanks. It's not worth much, but it's got a certain sentimental value for me. It's a very pretty ring. Yeah, yeah it is. My dad never gave me anything pretty before or since. He must have won a poker game or something that day. You know what's strange? I don't hate him. He's a bastard and he treated me like crap almost every single day of my life. But I don't hate him. I feel sorry for him. Why? Because he doesn't know how to love. He can't love anybody or anything. And because he'll be miserable every second of every minute of every day until the day he dies. God. I'm glad that life is behind me. I hope I never have to see him again. No, that doesn't sound right. I've made a choice not to see him again. Ever. I love this mural. Even though the motif is a little... Right. 
I mean, fairy tale forests and magical dragons? Still, it's pretty. I wonder what happened to the artist. Probably making a bundle from cheesy fantasy calendars and book covers. The alarm is active, but it can't be very effective with the doors wide open like that. Still, there's always somebody around, so I guess we're safe. Whoops! Was that me? Rust is the very definition of Venetian architecture. Think of San Francisco without the hills, Paris without the cafes, Venice wouldn't be the same without the rust. It would be better, but not the same. What a mystifying contraption, and completely absurd. What are all these valves and wheels and thingamajigs for? What grand purpose does it all serve? That's probably Mickey's handiwork. She's the tool gal around these here parts. I wonder why she put the clamp there, though. Oh. It seems the clamp served a purpose, after all. <laughs> what a surprise! I guess that's a pressure gauge. It's at 100. That's percent, I guess. 100% pressure? The water tank's full. It's a rusty old wheel. I'd imagine it turns the water on and off. It won't budge! The pressure's probably too high. Mystifying. That cable's been ripped in two. The cables are too far apart to tie them back together. Looks like a big piece of cable was torn off. Dad gave me this gold ring on my 16th birthday. I hope it doesn't melt or anything. It's alive! pressure valve. I'm not leaving my gold ring. Somebody's going to have to replace that cable eventually. Wow, I can see right into the common room. That's amazing. The shades are drawn. That's Cortez. He sits in the same spot almost every day. I hate to admit it, but he scares me a little. Oye, senorita. Yes? How are you this morning, senorita bonita? Busy. I see. Everyone's busy today. You have a big show coming up soon, yes? That's right. Gotta run. I'll see you around. Sunshine and pretty senoritas give an old man like me the blues. 
I like my days cold and rainy. In fact, I think I prefer the world to be in black and white. Like an old movie. Like all good movies. But tell me, Senorita Ryan, how would you describe your perfect day? Cold and rainy like yours. Está bien. We are alike, you and I. But this heat is not why you are unhappy, no? You are trouble, my nightmares. What? You are afraid of them. You even fear your dreams may be real. Who told you about my nightmares? No one. I can tell from looking into your eyes. I see the ghosts that haunt you. I don't know who you've been talking to, but from now on, stay the hell away from me in my personal life. No puedo, señorita Ryan. You have a destiny. Destiny? I don't care what you think. Just, just leave me alone. If you don't face them, I'm afraid your nightmares will continue. Soon they will appear to you even when you're awake. You need some serious help, you know that? We all do, April. That's the reason we are here, you and me. That's it. I don't have to listen to this. Perdóname. I've upset you. We didn't think you'd react this way. I hope we can talk again soon. I don't think so, no. Please, think about it. And señorita, cuidado. Be careful. From what I've been told, the clock stopped on the very day of the infamous Venice Massacre in 2109, to the minute the police opened fire on the squatters. 